a statement. Do you want to make a statement? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. If you feel comfortable sitting. This is the first time they had to fire my weapon on duty because I am proud of that fact. I have prayed daily for the soul of Laquan McDonald, and it was due to my actions that the McDonald family has suffered and felt pain due to the loss of the family member. The taking of a human life is not to be taken lightly. As a God-fearing man and father, I will have to live with this the rest of my life, taking this to my grave. Is it more serious for Laquan McDonald to be shot by a firearm, or is it more now moving on, you've been here today and you've seen the impact that this sentence, I mean, this crime has had on Laquan McDonald and his family. You've seen the impact on uh, the Van Dykes and their family and the children. That's the shame. The family are suffering a tremendous amount of pain during this, along with Laquan McDonald's family and loved ones. And I've said here time and time again, and along with my brother judges that are here in this courtroom, and it's just so senseless that these acts occur because you can see the pain on both sides of the family. And I think Mr. McMahon said it uh, in closing arguments in the case in chief, this is a tragedy for both sides. So this is not easy and I don't expect it to be easy. I th my findings are an appropriate sentence would be 81 months in the Illinois Department of Corrections, two years mandatory for five years. Recess. Cut. It's in recess. If if they have sentenced him to one minute, it is a victory. It is a victory because what has happened in this courtroom today has never happened in the history of this county. And, 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 and it sets a precedent, and it sends a strong message to unjust police officers that now uh, you can and will go to jail if you're caught lying, if you're caught uh, breaking the law. However, I want to say to our country, this is a sad day for America and the American justice system. This man has clearly committed murder, and, and the murder in which he has, has committed has been shown all over the world. Everyone of any civil and conscious mind knows that this is murder. And the reality of it is, we have to do something legislatively to change this. We must begin the process to do something legislatively to change this so that police officers that commit the kinds of crimes that Jason Van Dyke has done and the three other officers will be convicted properly for the crimes in which they, which they are committed, just like any other citizen in the state of Illinois or in this country. I was disappointed at that. I, I, I really wanted and uh, believed that the prosecutors, based on the job that they had done at, at getting this case uh, to where it is, to ask for the maximum sentence, as they would if there was a any other um, uh, citizen that was in that courtroom. Clearly this was murder. The whole world knows it and saw it and the whole world would have uh, expected them to do exactly as I am.